Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and today I've got the Lovable Library Showcase Die and Stamp Set from Tonic Studios. So we'll have a little look at what we've got here and then I'll, I'll make some samples up and show you how to use them. We'll have a little look at the stamp set first of all. And we've got a beautiful feather here which is a quill. There's a lovely little nib on the end of it. So it would be used with both of these bottles, which would be ink bottles, and then there's some little splodges and splatters and a little squiggle, is that, is that what you call it, a squiggle, from the quill. But I was thinking you could also put a little piece of tape over that and mask the little quill bit off at the end, the little nib, and use the feathers for other cards as well, which weren't necessarily the inking type. And then we've got some beautiful sentiment ones. So you're just my type, and that works really well with the typewriter in the die set. Just a note, hello, to say, I love you more than words can say, a true love story, and a lovely little um, stamp of a postcard there with a little ribbon around it, and it says to my friend on it. So those are really nice stamps. I've actually gone ahead and already cleaned them, as I told you in one of my last videos, what I normally do before I use them because I know I'm going to use most of them, or a lot of them anyway at some stage soon. I peel that backing off and then I some soapy water on a little scrubby brush and scrub the whole lot of them together and then dry them off and then they're ready for using and you don't have any areas where the ink doesn't take and all that, that conditions it for you. So these are the dies. We've got a lovely typewriter here and this one consists of three actually four different dies. I'll lift it out and let you see. We've got the background outline one. I have cut it out here. With this next one, which I have cut out in ivory. That's like this. And you can put that on top there. Then there's the little keyboard. Keyboard, is that what you call it on a computer? What do you call it on a typewriter? I can't remember. But anyway, there's this one. And then when you put this one into it, that gives you all the little, where the little letters would be. And that then will look like this, and you can glue that on top. So obviously I have cut it out in pink there. I went ahead with blue as well, because um, I had a blue typewriter at one stage like this. But this is the type of thing that could be used for ladies' cards or for men's cards, just depending on whatever uh, colours you use on it. There's a lot of versatility with this one. So I'll set those aside and we'll have a look at the others. There's a beautiful die here and if you use that on the edge of your paper you're going to get this lovely effect of where you can pull that out of a notebook. That's really really nice and you can use some of your stamps on that as well. These will coordinate. Now this one is a piece of paper, or at least it will cut out a piece of paper. So I'll just show you here what I've done. If you get the typewriter like this, and I hope you can see that there, and just go feed it down in behind, so it's going in below that piece and down behind the roller and down in there, you'll get where the, yes I do remember, that's what my typewriter looked like and that's where the paper went. It went around the roller and you typed the letters here and this popped up and you hit this and off it went. Uh, yeah, and it dinged, it was cute. <laughs> there was a lovely little noise with it and that brings all those lovely memories back. Anyhow, I digress. Back to the die set. Um, so these are books and uh, the ends of books and this is the top then with the pages in it. And I will show you what those look like when they're cut out as well. And a beautiful fountain pen, a tiny little pen, and then pieces to make uh, dimensional glasses here as well and a lovely little piece of foliage and love the letters that will cut out the, the wording of love there as well. So lots and lots of things that you could do with this. In fact it would make quite a few different types of cards because just for a book lover and you don't need to use the typewriter for something that you just want to make a stationary type of card you could use this. Glasses, well you know you could have those in really funky colours and have them as sunglasses or you could just use the stamp set on its own, but how cute is that typewriter? So I'll pick out some card now and I'll be back in just a minute or two and we'll make something. So I've picked out a 5x7 card 
and I've taken some coral pink craft per perfect card for the background and then this card on top it's actually paper sorry is double sided paper that came in a kit just a short time ago I'm hoping that tonic maybe released that on its own but I had some left and I've used it for the top and I will glue that layer then onto this card then I have taken the same coral pink card for the background of my little typewriter. I've cut this die in white and I'm going to layer that on top there. And then I've used the two keyboard dies that I showed you before, both of these together. And that gave me this and I'm going to glue those on top. And then I really love this little die for more reasons than one because depending on how you use it you can get two totally different effects. It doesn't have an edge here or here, so you can just um, line that up and move it further down the page and you can make that as long as you like. It doesn't have to be just this size. So if you've got the end of your card here and you place it on like this with the circles pointing inwards, it's going to give you this beautiful notebook effect here. But you can also do that and cut it out of the card as I have done here. And that reminded me of some beautiful bauble trim, you know, the kind of one that you would have ribbon possibly with pom-poms on it. So I was kind of conflicted as to which one I wanted to use. So I have used the other side of this paper, it was double sided. And I've cut that out and trimmed it off to 8 centimeters by 11. And I'm going to glue that on top of a piece of white card just to show it off a bit better. Um, at an eight and a half by eleven and a half, and that will go on there. My typewriter on there, and I've cut two of these, and I am going to use them as the bubble trim. So before I actually put this on all on the card, I'm going to glue one across the top, one across the bottom, and trim those off, and then glue them on. And then I have stamped out the little sentiment, which says "I love you more than words can say," and that will go on my little notebook. And then I stamped out the little rows and to coordinate it with this paper I have used pea pod and pink grapefruit with plum tomato alcohol markers and I've coloured that in to match as well. So I'll just go ahead and assemble all of this. So in contrast to this kind of what I would call a girly kind of card, I've gone for blues and blacks this time and I have used some of the Hailstorm Speciality paper for this and it's a beautiful background there and then I've used Arctic, Arctic Blue which matches in with it and again this beautiful uh, die that I've used on the last card, I just wanted to use it again and make another little notebook. So I'm going to glue this on here like this. And then I have taken, well, I've got two typewriters cut out and made up, but I thought I needed something just a little brighter. So I've used the ivory in behind that one. I have used the white and then I've, I've stamped the just a note onto the paper. That's the little die that cut the paper shape out. That's this one. And that has, I've slid that down in behind what I call the roller of the typewriter. And then that's going to go on there. And then I've left this out just to show you. I've used this die and these two pieces together. And I've cut out this pair of glasses. So now I do know that those are not sort of the scale of the typewriter or whatever. 
it would be a case of what big eyes you've got. But um, anyway, I think they'll look nice on the bottom there. Um, you have this other die. There are actually two other ones, but this one would cut out a background. So the way the cream or the ivory there is behind the typewriter, that would be exactly what this would look like if I cut that out in the ivory and put it behind the glasses. But that's not the effect I wanted. I wanted to be able to see through there. So I'll go ahead and glue all this together. One last card to share with you and I've used the same colours that I used in my first card so I move that over and that's my second one and I've got a little typewriter here that I can use maybe on a, a gift tag or another card or I was thinking maybe even on a bookmark and then my third card is here and I really love that border well I call it a border die that I've used along here so I used it in both ways here on the top and bottom and then I had some layering circle dies so I put them in the center in the coral and the white again and then I have cut out the little books as I showed you before I'll show you the dies here that I've used for those so maybe I should just take that off I think there we are so this is the outside and I've cut that once in white for every book so even if it's um, the outside of an actual book itself, I've cut each of those in white and you can see there where they're in the background and then I have used the same die with the inner die, just pop that inside and the same here with these ones, pop the inner die inside and gone through the, the machine again with them and that has given me the second layer which I've just glued on top of the other one and then I've stacked these books up and that one is on 3D foam pads there. I have added some of the foliage down at the bottom and I have high just at an angle there but the bit that I love most is the funky glasses on there and I hope you can catch that shine. I'm not sure if you can or not but believe me there's shine there and that comes from Morning Dew Crystal Drops on top of the actual uh, die cut glasses and it looks really good. So that's that. That's all the cards that I'm making with that at the moment and I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and I hope to see you back again soon. Let me know what kind of thing you would have made with this die set or what you think of this. Tell me what you think of the video, uh, the cards and whatever and um, I'll have all my affiliate links if anyone you may already have the stuff that I've used here, but if you don't and if you're interested in it, I'll add my affiliate links down below in the description of the video as well. And I do appreciate everybody who uses those. As you know, it doesn't actually cost you any more to use them, but I get a little commission from it. So thank you very, very much until the next time. Bye bye.